good day. Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Thursday, February 17, 2022. Brought to you by Wilcom Depot, the country's leading home improvement and construction supplies retailer. Shop conveniently 24-7 with Wilcom online store. Just go to shop.wilcom.ph. Think Tank sees big win for BBM. An independent research group sees two scenarios in this year's elections. A landslide win for former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. or a tight race where one candidate will win by a little over 30%. Strat-based ADR Institute President Victor Andres Dean Demanhet shared research results including the outcome of surveys conducted by Pulse Asia and the social weather stations. Surveys enjoying a huge lead over his closest rival, Vice President Maria Leonor Leni Robredo. In the January survey released by Pulse Asia, Marcos got 60% voters' preference rating. Robredo was a far second with 16%. He said that while Marcos led most pre-election surveys, his ranking could fall and this would result in a tight contest. However, Mann had admitted that Marcos can win big or slowly declines, although nobody's really gaining. Filipinos want strong, honest leaders. Poll a pre-election survey conducted by the group Bosses, Opinion, Siyasat at Siyensya para sa Pilipinas, or Bosses Pilipinas, revealed that Filipinos desire leaders that are strong, honest, and intelligent. 69% of the respondents said they prefer candidates who could prove strong leadership. 55% said it is important for candidates to be honest, while 42% said intelligence is crucial to a candidate. Meanwhile, 37% of the respondents said they prefer candidates who get things done. 33% said they want a morally upright candidates while 19% said they want a compassionate candidates. Marcos vows to continue talks with the Reds. Former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. on Wednesday said he would continue the dialogue between the government and the communist rebels if elected as president. Marcos added that the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict or ntf Elkach would lead the negotiations. Marcos stressed that the constitution must be upheld at all times. President Rodrigo Duterte issued Executive Order 70 in December 2018, institutionalizing the whole of nation approach and attaining peace through the ntf Elkach. The peace talks between the national government and the Communist Party of the Philippines National Democratic Front have been intermittent since 1986. Bets praise Caril's Bayaning Mangingisda by Kababaihan. The song Bayaning Mangingisda by Kababaihan by singer, actress, and TV host Caril Tatlonghari got fresh accolades this election season. The song that pays homage to Filipino women, fissure folk, Farmers and members of the Philippine Coast Guard or PCG was done in collaboration with local band Sponge Cola, whose lead vocalist, Yael Yuzon, is Tatlonghari's husband. Doctor warns COVID jabs risky. A pharmacologist, toxicologist disputed claims that COVID-19 vaccines are effective, saying these are hazards to human health. In an affidavit submitted by Public Attorney's Office or PAO Chief Tercida Rueda Acosta before Judge Primo CEO of the Quezon City Regional Trial Court Branch 96, Dr. Romeo Rejano echoed the statement of other professionals who were also presented as witnesses that COVID-19 vaccines are experimental. Rejano said he joined the concerned doctors and citizens of the Philippines or CDCPH, a volunteer group that offers help to the government to safely address the COVID-19 pandemic. In his paper, Balancing Risks and Benefits COVID-19 Vaccines, he said the risks of COVID-19 vaccines outweigh its benefits as claimed by the Department of Health or DOH and the United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention or CDC. He said COVID-19 vaccines could cause serious illness and death. In business, 
Philippines fundamentals slighted amid scaring. International debt watcher SNP Global Ratings emphasized the importance of the Philippines' macroeconomic fundamentals in order to mitigate the scaring cost by the COVID-19 pandemic. Vincent Conti, SNP Associate Director and Senior Economist, said in a webinar on Wednesday that the credit rating agency saw a lot of what economists call a negative output gap in the Philippines starting in 2020. He added that S&P estimated that around the peak of the pandemic in 2020, the Philippine economy was 20% below where it would have been without the pandemic. Topping sports and of an era, Alaska leaves PBA. After years of speculation and tittle-tattle, Alaska team owner Wilfred Oitengsu has made it official on Wednesday. The Alaska franchise is leaving the Philippine Basketball Association or PBA at the end of the 2021-2022 season. But unlike teams which were about to exit the league, the organization vowed to play with integrity the rest of the way and do whatever it takes to win the title number 15. At a virtual press conference on Wednesday, we thanks to assure the media that the Aces will not trade their marquee players to other teams. In the past, squads that were about to leave the league unloaded key players to easily sell their franchise at a cheaper price. We thanks to, however, said he intends to keep his team competitive in the ongoing Governors Cup. Going over the NBA Suns burn Clippers for the NBA best record. In Phoenix, Devin Booker scored 26 points, Chris Paul added 17 points and 14 assists, and the All-Star duo led the Phoenix Suns to another win by beating the Los Angeles Clippers 103 over 96 on Tuesday, Wednesday in Manila. The Suns have won 6 straight games and 17 of their past 18 dating back to January 11. They also pushed their NBA best record to 47 over 10 with one game remaining before the All-Star break. Mikael Bridges added 19 points and 9 rebounds including a crucial 3-pointer in the final minute while DeAndre Ayton had 12 points and 12 rebounds. The Clippers were coming off an impressive win against Golden State and put up a great fight against the Suns and back and forth a second half that kept the outcome uncertain until the final minute. Los Angeles fell to 29 over 31 for the season. The Times editorial urges the Philippines to take the lead in ending plastic pollution. Read the full version on the opinion section on print and digital editions or listen to the voice of the times. Featured columnists on the front page are Yen Macabenta, Antonio Contreras, and Ed Selegman. Macabenta writes about economists as celebrity endorses, Contreras on how politics has imperiled family ties and friendships, and Lagman on the origins and challenges of the right to vote. For more news and information, read the Manila Times on print and its digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and keep up with the Times. This is Christian Cromaghanoy reporting.